Hi guys, we are back again for another sniff of Dirty Soul Soap. Hi Ayana, Dirty Soul Soap um, fragrance mist, and I am so excited. Okay, so we are, hi Harley. Is the music too loud? Hey Liz, Liz, is the music too loud? I can't tell. And I thought I had it all set up. Um, I was just live on Instagram and I had everything set up here. So, okay, cool. All right. So you guys, I have 14 different scents. I did get the smaller bottles this time. They're the two and a half ounces, I believe. Um, compared to the big ones because I wanted to get a, a bunch more and I'm going to pull up the website so that I can tell you guys some of these are dupe inspired by Bath and Body Works. If you don't know, Dirty Soul Soap Co. is a handmade fragrance body brand. Um, they also have soaps and lotions like body shower gel and I have fallen in love they're very strong, very fragrant. Now they are body fragrances, so it's it's not perfume. It's not going to last all day on you. It's it's a body fragrance. You're going to have to reapply, but they are long lasting. Okay, so I have the website up, and I have not smelled any of these yet, and I'm so excited to. I do have one that I did, which I'm going to talk about first. I have one that I opened up and actually used, and it is the Fresh Linen. Um, this one here, I actually wore it over the weekend, and I got compliments, which is weird because it's a laundry scent. Let me see if this one is a dupe for anything. I should have wrote this down before. It is. It's a dupe. So this is compared to Laundry Day by Bath and Body Works. So we went to a concert over the weekend. Uh, I love the 90s concert to go see Vanilla Ice. And I decided to grab this one out of all the ones that I have here out of the 14. And I used it and I had two people say, oh my God, your, your sweater, I was wearing a hoodie, your sweater smells so good. What uh, laundry soap do you use? And I was like, what the hell are you talking about? It's a fragrance, a body spray. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so the notes on this one is fresh air, eucalyptus and lavender. And oh, it smells so good. This is a fragrance that I think that would be like a good refresher. Like if you wanted to use it on your sofas, uh, maybe in your linen closet, this smells so good. It smells like, oh, it's, it's good. It, there's a, a soapiness to it but not like a Tide detergent or a Gain or Arm & Hammer. It just, mm, it smells so good. So I was excited when I got compliments on this. Okay, so I love vanilla scents and I absolutely love coconut scents. I have a good mixture, I think a good mixture of coconut and vanilla scents. I also love the scent of marshmallow, so I grabbed a couple of those too. Yes, Harley. For those that don't know, this is the owner of Dirty Soul Soap Co. This is Harley. And yes, I was smelling fresh. Like I just had my clothes, like I just washed my clothes. It was amazing. I loved it. My nose is going to be so overwhelmed, Liz. No, I think I'll be okay. Okay, so I have, I love marshmallow scents, so I have some of those as well. So the way I'm going to do this, is, I think I'm going to jump from a 
like a coconut scent to a marshmallow scent to a vanilla scent. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. But what I do want to start off with, I was super excited when I saw these. Let me see. I knew I should have wrote these down. I think it's going to take me longer to do this. Let me see. So this next one is called Suntan. This is what the bottle looks like. Whoop. Is it not focusing? Come on, camera. I think I put the wrong setting on. Okay, so Suntan. The fragrance notes on this. Oh, this is an original to... This is an original to um, Dirty Soul Soap. So the fragrance notes on this is coconut, banana, creamy vanilla, juicy pineapple, and ripe mango. Okay, I cannot wait to smell this one. I don't see that it's a dupe for anything. So this is an original scent for the, to them. Okay, so... Holy shit. Can you guys see that? Can you see the spray? Oh my God. Okay. If you, oh, that coconut is good. And that banana. If you love, I think I have Hawaiian Tropic here. This one does remind me of Hawaiian Tropic. This does remind me of a suntan oil. And it, I smell that banana so good. This is a good one. And the vanilla, I can smell a little bit of that vanilla. Ooh, okay, this is going in a good pile. That's a good one. Okay, let's jump to a marshmallow. So this one that we have is Marshmallow Musk. I am bummed my camera is not focusing. Okay, fragrance notes on this one is cold milk. I need glasses. Cold milk, marshmallow mahogany, tonka bean, and white musk. That's a good mixture. Let's see. Does that sound familiar to anybody? Marshmallow musk. This is going to take me a minute, huh? I don't think I'm going to look these up. I should have wrote it on the bottle. This is compared to milk by commodity. Okay? Milk by commodity. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, shit. That smells good. Mmm. That smells a little bit musky. Okay, I don't know what cold milk smells like. I don't like milk, but this smells good. That tonka bean, the white musk. I smell the white musk. Mmm. Oh, this smells sensual. Oh my God, I love this one. All right. So we're three out of 14. Okay, next we have, I have to jump into this. I can't, I keep looking at it. Hawaiian Tropic. And this one is... The fragrance notes are coconut, banana, and vanilla. Just straight up coconut, banana, and vanilla. Oh my God. Dude. Mm. Oh, shit. This is a winner. Oh, I really like this one. Oh, I love that. 
I should have took that to the concert with me, but I wanted to wait. I wanted to wait to smell this with you guys. Oh, I like that one. That one smells good. All right, let's jump to another. I'm going to just show you guys this one because one of my favorite, favorite scents from Bath and Body Works is Vanilla Bean Noel. And that's one thing about Dirty Soul Soap is a lot of the candle scents that are not in body care, they have. Um, a lot of retired scents that Bath and Body Works no longer has, they have. So I got Vanilla Bean Noel just because I wanted to have something that was a little longer lasting. Because if you know, you know, Bath and Body Works has not been doing good with Vanilla Bean Noel lately. So this, the fragrance notes on this one is fresh vanilla, fresh vanilla beans, warm caramel, and rich comforting cream. Let's see if it smells. Yeah, that smells like it. Mm, that one smells good too. Vanilla bean no smell is what they have been calling it. Yes, I've seen that Harley, I have. Oh, this is good. So if you love Vanilla Bean Noel, oh, this is a good one. Okay, I'm excited to wear this one too. The name of the last one, Ayana, was Hawaiian Tropic. Is this the one that you're talking about? This is the one that I sprayed on me. It's so good. Do you want me to get you one of these? Just so you guys know, It Sky is my niece and I'm getting her into body fragrances. I think I'm going to get you this one. That one smells so good. Okay, so next we are going to go into exotic coconut. Okay, the fragrance notes on this sweet, creamy coconut, warm vanilla and exotic musk. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Okay, ready? Oh. Hey, Kayla. Oh, this. Harley, what the heck did you make with this one? Is this a dupe of something? Exotic coconut. That smells jamming. It's, it is dark. It's a dark fruit. You get that musk for sure. Oh, that smells really good. Okay, exotic coconut is compared to, oh, exotic coconut by Bath and Body Works. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I love that one. Oh shit, what did I get? Okay, let's tone it down with a marshmallow. I'm hoping this one is marshmallow. This one is so cute, this little packaging. It's called Sugared. And let's see, is this a dupe? Sugared. I don't see it. Here it is. Oh, it's called sugared marshmallows. Damn it, I'm telling you, I need glasses. Marshmallows is underneath underneath here. And sugared marshmallows is, this is a signature scent. So this is a Dirty Soul soap scent. Fragrance notes on this, freshly made marshmallows and whipped vanilla and sugar. Oh, golly. Ooh, that marshmallow is one of the, my new favorites. It smells like a bag of jet puffed marshmallows. Which one? The sugared? Harley? Okay, Ayana, I think you will love this one. Oh, shoot, that smells. Oh my God, this smells so good. 
okay, if you have a sweet tooth that just spray this on you because this smells jamming. <gasps> I love that. Oh, I'm super excited. Okay, so, so far, these are all the ones that we've sniffed and these are all good. So we've already sniffed Hawaiian Tropic. We've sniffed sugared marshmallows, exotic coconut jamming, suntan, good. <laughs> Marshmallow musk was good. And then fresh linen. I got freaking compliments on a laundry pipe scent. Imagine that. Vanilla bean Noel. Obviously this is, everybody knows about vanilla bean Noel. So, oh my God. Okay, so we have seven left. Ayana. Uh, yes, Auntie D has a sweet tooth. Okay, here's another one that I wanted to, I picked up. Actually, Harley had told me about this, um, which I didn't know. This is, this one is called Lonely Ghoul. I wish my camera, I don't know why it's not focusing. Oh, there we go. Now it's going to focus. Okay, so for one, the artwork on this is beautiful. And this is called Lonely Ghoul. It's actually a dupe to Ghoul Friend from Bath and Body Works. So I had to pick this one up. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, Harley. Thank you so much for telling me about this. <gasps> oh, okay. I kind of regret sm spraying myself with... I should have sprayed myself with this. Oh my God, this smells so good. This smells a little bit stronger than the Bath and Body Works fragrance spray. Or did they, they didn't come out with a fragrance spray in this one, did they? I can't remember. I just, I'm glad I have that one now. That smells good. Oh, and I didn't tell you what those scents on this are. Okay, so Lonely Ghost has fragrance notes of dark strawberries, ghostly, peony and spine chilling citrus oh the diamond shimmer mist that's right so ghoul friend only came in the diamond shimmer mist oh my god so if you guys love and the the pocket backs too because i had the pocket backs in this you guys you got to get you a lonely ghoul oh if you like that scent i love this i think i'm gonna get the big bottle actually i think i'm gonna get a big bottle of a couple of these actually I should have bought the big bottle of all of those that we've smelled so far. Okay, next we're going to go into, this was another recommendation by Harley when I was um, talking about my order that I put in. This one is called Vanilla Velour. This one has, okay, so for, for the fragrance notes, this has several. It has Madagascar Vanilla. Luscious caramel, buttery cinnamon, sweet almond, oh gosh, jasmine, tonka beans, warm sandalwood musk, and amber. Mmm, this might, I mean, this sounds like it could be a favorite. Am I ready for it? Oh, okay, Harley. I smell that cinnamon, but very softly with like vanilla on top. Oh, this is pretty. I don't get a lot of musk from it. <laughs> Oh, I really like this one too. That smells good. Okay, next we're gonna go into Copper Tan. I had to get these summer scents, guys. I had to get the summer scents. Okay, this one fragrance note says, green herbs, jasmine, rose, lavender, and lilac. And just so you guys know, I'm going to read the ingredients to you guys just so that you're aware. So 
There is, these are made with alcohol, 40B, I believe that says B, witch hazel, polysorbate 80, fragrance, and glycerin. So it's a very short ingredient list. And I think the glycerin is what helps these to be long lasting because the glycerin, I don't know. I just feel like it has to be the glycerin, I think. And a mixture of the witch hazel too. Okay, so copper tan. Oh. Okay, that one. Green herbs, jasmine, rose, lavender, and lilac. I smell a little bit. It does smell like suntan lotion, which sounds weird given the fragrance notes, but it has almost like a SPF smell as well. Like, like a slight SPF. How did you do this, Harley? But it's not bad. It's refreshing. It smells like sandy beach and rubbing like white suntan lotion or sunblock on you. But then it also kind of smells like a candy, <laughs> like a sweet, um, you know, the Smarties, the Smarty candies. It almost smells sugary like that. And there's nothing like that in here. This smells good. That smells good. I like that. Let me see. I want to put my sun tan ones together because I'm going to rank the sun tan ones. Okay. Next, we will go into coconut and vanilla cream. The labels are so pretty. Coconut and vanilla cream. Fragrance notes on this one. Peach blossom, warm coconut, and creamy vanilla. Okay, let's see. Oh. Okay, so this one smells soft. <laughs> it actually smells granny soft. Like, now I'm a grandma, so don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about like my age grandma. I'm talking about like granny, granny, grandma. Like if grandma, if, if your, your old little lady grandma wanted to wear some coconut after she powdered herself, that's what this smells like. It's actually good. It's cute. It's giving me old granny. Musky, powdery, coconut vibes. I like this one too. It's soft. And it's like petite. Mmm, that one smells good. Okay, let's jump into this one I was excited for too. This one is called Sugar Milk. And Sugar Milk fragrance notes are milk sugar, vanilla extract, and condensed milk. <gasps> what am I doing getting these type of scents, you guys? I am not a milk drinker. But so far, the ones that have had milk in them, they actually do smell good. Okay, Harley says sugar milk is so good. Oh, I need to smell copper tan again. Oh my God, smell it. Smells, that one smells like, I just picture, I, I can vision rubbing like sunblock on with the sandy, the beach, the wind. It smells so good. It reminds me of that. Hi, Christy. How are you? Thank you for coming in. Okay, so sugar milk. Again, fragrance notes are milk sugar, vanilla extract, and condensed milk. Here we go. All I know is my... Oh, okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's weird. It does smell milky and sugary. Like when <laughs> I have the weirdest descriptions, you guys, what is wrong with me? Like when a puppy's breath is losing, like when it's that milk, that cute, really cute puppy breath is starting to lose its, like, smell. That's, that's not what this smells like, but almost. Oh, you could smell the milk. Oh, that's a trip. I don't even know. All I smell is milk. I don't know what's what else I'm smelling out of that. I do smell a little bit of the vanilla, but not much. Oh my God, that one's a trip. Okay, that one's cool. Okay, now we have creamy coconut and vanilla sugar. Okay, creamy coconut and vanilla sugar. This one has, where are you? There you are. Okay, fragrance notes on this one is creamy coconut, vanilla, and brown sugar. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Oh, that one smells nice. I gave up and stopped looking to see if these are dupes, but let me see if this one is. Because that smells really good. Creamy coconut and vanilla sugar. N nope, this is a... This is an original also to Dirty Soul Soap. And that smells delicious. Mmm, I really like this one. Okay, we're on our last one. Whipped Dream. This is such a pretty label. I like that. Okay, Whip Dream Fragrance Notes is Cake Sprinkles, Vanilla Caramel, and Almond Blossom. Oh, that one smells good too. I mean, I haven't smelled it yet. It sounds like it smells good. Okay, let's see. Oh, gosh. Damn. Oh, I like this one. Okay, there's some that I wish that I would have sprayed on me <laughs> as well. Oh, this one is really good. All right, so out of my 14, that's this is good. Whipped Dream, is this a, let me see. Oh, this smells good. Let's see if this is a dupe or an inspired by. I like saying inspired by. If I could spell it right. Whipped dream. Whipped dream is. Oh, it's compared to. I didn't even know this was a Victoria's Secret scent. This is compared to whipped dream by Victoria's Secret. Oh, thank you, Harley, for saying this is good. I like this. All right. So out of the, if you are a suntan lotion person, like you love suntan oil type smells in the order that I would purchase them first is Hawaiian Tropic. This is good. I would do Hawaiian Tropic. Then I would do suntan Suntan was the coconut banana one. God, this smells good too. Yeah, the for sure, for sure. If you pick up one, you got to pick up the other. You need both, okay? You need both to smell good for the summertime. Copper tan 
I would say this would be for like soft nights, like when you're doing a, when you're going to like a, like a house party or something and you're just hanging out with friends, this would be like the soft sun tanny scent that you would want to smell like. But these are the bangers right here. These are the ones where you're going to, people are going to say like, ooh, you smell good. These two. Whipped dream for sure. Okay. You need to get this. I did not know that Victoria's Secret had this. I haven't been to a Victoria's Secret in so long. This is good. Glad I have that. Sugared mars marshmallow. Bomb. Okay, obviously fresh linen because I got compliments on it. This was the only one that I wore and I had two different people say I smelled so good. <laughs> I it still cracks me up because it's a it's a laundry scent. It's like a it's like a soapy also like a detergent and a softener in one. Like fresh linen, it smells good. You you need to spray your linen closet with this. When you need to refresh your clothes, like if this doesn't have no downy smell, it doesn't have no gain smell this is just mm, so good i love it okay and then let's see the vanilla vanilla velour exotic coconut you just need all 14 of these okay those are good marshmallow musk so good oh god yes I am so excited that I finally got to smell these. This one is the creamy coconut and vanilla sugar. So good, you guys. I love these. Okay, so I also ordered, after I placed this order, I had a Bath & Body Works wallflower in the scent um, Snowflake and Cashmere. And... When I put that wallflower into um, the plug, I was like, oh my God, this smells so good. So then what did I do? I ran over to the website, Dirty Soul Soap Co. and looked to see if they had a scent for that wallflower, for that fragrance. They did. I just got notification that it shipped today. I was hoping that it would come before this, but that's okay. So I ordered that one. Um, if you're interested, I'll let you guys know how that one is, maybe in the community tab. But I really enjoy these fragrance oils. If you do, oh, Girlfriend is another good one too. And then obviously Vanilla, Be Vanilla Bean is their name for it. It's inspired by Vanilla Bean Noel. Um, if you're into body fragrance, I recommend checking them out. They are... Um, they do have samples that you can get for, I believe, a dollar. So if you didn't want to spend the money on the smaller bottle or the larger size, then you can try the samples. I didn't get the samples because I can always re-gift if something doesn't mesh with my nose. Um, but I really like the longevity that these give me compared to some of my Bath & Body Works fragrance mists. And it's a small business, so I'm supporting someone small. I'm a small business. I feel that it's the right thing to do. I'd rather put my money into someone else's pocket than into a big box brand. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, what are your type of favorite scents? Angela says, sugared marshmallows. Yes, that one smells so good. If you really like, I mean, it smells, let me sm spray it again. I'll give you another. Mm. It smells, this, this does smell like you stuck your head in a bag of marshmallows. Oh God, this smells so good. I don't know which one I'm going to wear. I mean, I already doused myself in one. I don't know what I'm going to wear. This was so fun. I'm so excited with these scents. So, um, I just about ordered everyone 
that you mentioned today. Did you? Oh my God, I'm so excited for you to get them. Yeah. I'm so excited. Did you get the Hawaiian Tropic? Which ones did you get? You gotta let me know. And when you get them, if you can, let me know what, um, how you think of them. Let, let me know if our noses, our noses are the same. Sometimes, you know, what I smell, someone else can smell. You can never really go off of anybody's opinion about scents but for the most part you can tell if you're smelling a fragrance note that is listed in in the description you can tell if you smell it or not oh my god if you know you know okay so quick story about this i was so embarrassed when harley had sent me a message on instagram and saying spit question mark question mark question mark I was like, oh my God, that is so crazy. But you guys, this scent, Blushed Cocoa, I have it still and it's sitting. It just, it did not mesh with my nose well. It literally smelled like someone who had sneezed. And we figured out what the culprit could be. It might be like a mix of the raspberries and stuff. But it's just, that goes to show you that what my nose picks up may be different than what you do so when it comes to body scents and um like fragrance mists like this i think it would be best if you do have a sensitive nose maybe start off with the little samplers if not then start off with the the medium size which these are the they're the two and a half ounce bottles um the other ones are four ounce bottles so they are a little bit smaller than the mist that you would get from Bath and Body Works, but uh, come on, let's be real now. How fast are you going to go through a bottle? Do they have any that are like black cherry, marshmallow, lemon, and like amber or musk? Because that's sounding amazing right now. That's a good question for Harley. Harley, do you have anything that is like this? Hi, Ayana. Welcome back. Yes, my love. I do miss you and I love you so much. And your sister. Okay, guys. So that is my, this isn't necessarily a review. This is just my first impressions of sniffing brand new fragrance uh, body mists. And I love it. I have fun. This is my second video doing this. Um... I'm sure Harley has more scents in the pipeline that are going to be coming out. So you probably will see more videos like this from me. Um, Harley says to Elizabeth, I don't, but I have scents that you could layer to make that possible. Okay, cool. And Cindy ordered a couple of cherry ones. Oh, Cindy, I would love to know how those smell because I do love cherry scents too. I don't wear a lot of cherry, mostly coconut and um, vanilla. Ooh, chocolate covered cherry. I ordered cherry crisp and chocolate covered cherry. I'm interested in those. So please let me know what you, um, what you think of those. But that's all I have for you guys. So again, my name is Deandra. I am the owner and CEO of Davina Cosmetics. Thank you for watching this video on my channel, Lifestyle of a CEO. Here I show you all the things that I love, that I'm obsessed about, and things that I just want to share and show you. It's my little creative outlet to get out of my uh, makeup bubble that I do on the side. So I hope you guys enjoyed your time and thank you for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one.